Oh, what? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So I much prefer to complete all the tasks from one set of content first, but sometimes I can't do that. For example, this God Wars task for Armadale, half of those tasks, I have to do it in a private instance. And the only way to access the private instance is to complete the hard section of combat achievements. So that means I have to go to some assortment of bosses variety to do their hard task so I can just get that done and then I can finish off Armadale. So now is a good time to complete all the hard tasks. I have some in God Wars for each of the four bosses and of course some wilderness stuff so we're gonna have to do some wilderness bosses. To start off with the full hard combat diaries completion we're gonna do Armadale first. There's two tasks I can do without instance. The first one is the hard which is to kill all the minions before the boss dies and the other one is actually a grandmaster task which is to kill Kriara with the freaking salamander Kriara aka Armadale boss is probably one of the least understood bosses for the average PVMer it's arguably one of the hardest bosses in the Galwar section in the age where people can kite Galwar's bosses with range methods now and take very low damage Armor boss is the only one that you can't run away from. If you wish to fight the boss, you have to deal with its constant long range 3 take mage attacks or melee attacks if you get too close and you don't know how to properly deal with that. Armor boss is typically killed with range. The most common weapons used against it are red or black chinchampas, rune to armadale crossbow, the new Ferdinand bow, or the mighty twisted bow. You might ask if you're new, why not mage it? Well, it has crazy high mage defense and your mage gives paper, so you will take a lot of damage before you can do much to it. You might also ask, why not melee? Well, it's flying. Even though it looks like it's not really like that high up in there, you can't melee it, they just coded it that way, so melee weapons usually don't work. Unless you use a salamander. So I only know of this because there's this grandmaster task that asked you to kill Kree with a salamander and I was thinking well I would probably bring max range gear and range armor with a black salamander because normally you'd range it so logically it makes sense right but somebody in push chat told me that you could actually melee armadillo boss with the salamander and I was like no freaking way it works spoiler alert yeah it does salamanders have a melee attack style that counts as a long distance attack so armadillo boss who prevents melee attacks can't actually stop the salamander's melee attacks yeah it's freaking wild whichever jmod coded this beautiful beast of a weapon like seriously you're crazy awesome let me explain further so salamanders are a very weird animal slash weapon thing because they have three different styles that are also three different combat styles including mage but mage style sucks because it only hits like 20s and 30s which means we're left with debating between two options the range option and the melee option which option should i use for killing armadil so melee ends up being significantly better than range on kree ara damage per second wise because of two major factors kree's range defense is 200 and its melee defense is actually 180 so slightly less on the melee section and the best part is the salamander, the black ones, max hit with melee is 52. 52. It's insane. That's on task, of course. And for range is a disappointing 31 with maximum gear on Slayer Tass. There's more benefits to melee Sally. You also get to wear full melee gear, which gives you a ton of range of melee defense. Armadale's mage attack is actually based on range defense. So only the mage minion will be doing a lot of damage and you can tank the boss and the melee minion quite easily with full melee gear. You might be asking beyond this combat task, is it worth using practically speaking? I don't think so because the normal range weapon still looks like it's a lot better due to them hitting higher max hits and better accuracy and some of them just straight up faster attack speeds. It might be a decent alternative if you can only use a rune crossbow as your range weapon, but to be honest, most people probably have better range options than a rune crossbow. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, I'm hitting! Damn, 46. 
Damn, I just hit a 46 with a black salamander. How crazy is that? Damn, this task is gonna be easy as hell. I think. Holy shit, I'm messing it up. Oh wow, and the Blood Fairy works on it too. I just realized I'm actually healing off the Blood Fairy. Holy crap with that. What the hell? Oh, I just healed so big. For those of you that want to know how long it took me to kill the boss with the melee version Black Salamander, it took me about two minutes. And from what I've heard, most people that did the range version, they use up like their entire inventory of food and it takes much, much longer. So definitely do the melee version for the Salamander Grandmaster task. Uh, I'm not hitting anymore. Got it. Hopefully that counts it. Nice, the worst ranged weapon, Poggers. Nice, nice. Didn't take too long to, to do. Perfect. Alright, now we'll save these two for the next task. I'm going to refrain from talking too much about the Fardenim bow at Armadale just because in this video I only did one kill. It went great. It felt like using a T-bow when the RNG is good. But again, it's only one kill, so I will talk more about it when we eventually do the Grandmaster test where I gotta kill 30 of them in a private instance after the Hard Diary is done. Wow, that was insane. Yeah, this bow is actually crazy. I'll quickly go over some of the hard tasks from the other God Wars bosses. The no Yar one from Zami was interesting, but there's a trick to it. If you pray melee, just bring melee gear. It can never use that attack on you since it only works if you're praying melee. But I'm praying mage, so. But all the other Gawars tasks is really simple. Just either freeze bandos or kill the minions and then kill the boss. There's the same ones for the other three, so. But I also decided to quickly finish off Corp. I didn't even realize Corp was a boss. I forgot for a long time, you know. It just What the hell even is that boss? So a few easy tasks there just got out of the way. Might as well. But yeah, now we get to the real good stuff. The wilderness task. Oh god, I dread wilderness activity. Chaos Elemento, yuck. Uh, Scorpia, pretty easy. These two super easy. Vidion, gross. 50 kills. And that's it. All the hearts will be done after that. Okay, I got everything. Decent setup for Vidion. Let's see what I lose. Eh, some dehyde. Eh, whatever. Not too much money. So this is the first time that I've actually ended up using the Vogoros Mace ever since I got it in a pretty substantial way. It is so freaking good at Vedion, man. I just smashed this thing. Like constant 50s, 60s. Absolutely gross. Although it has an insane amount of HP and also the mints have an insane amount of HP, you can still kill this boss. I think in under three minutes, usually like two minutes or so with this mace. And yeah, that's with welfare gear as well. Super good. And I've noticed that even if I run out of charges, because that happens a lot, I forget to charge up the weapon, it still can hit really well, even in its uncharged state. Holy crap, I can hit a 65? Jesus. I can hit a 65. What the hell? That's actually nuts. So peak errors are super common at Vedion, making this boss definitely one of the most annoying by far. I think I was getting attacked every 15 minutes, even if I use a 2.2k world, or 2k world, or a PvP world even. Yeah, you would get attacked pretty frequently, so you always have to be watching out for peak errors. Now, dodging them or just tanking them isn't too hard if you have decent gear. Black Dehyde and Dinsball really does the trick. 
even if you get caught TB'd or frozen, if it's a single B carrier, I have yet to die to a single B carrier this whole time. I only died one time, and that was to a team of three very experienced uh, B carriers. They caught me in full TB, which, yeah, made it incredibly hard to survive that. But other than that, you know, very high survival rates. Just perfect accordingly, put on your tank shield and dehide, and you're good. Run all the way to the graveyard with the zombies and stuff. Makes it really uh, good. And I found some tricks to reduce the chance of getting teleblocked and reduce the chance of getting frozen if you don't make it to the 30 line on time using the D high, which I'll explain more in a second here. Uh, all right, well, that was ass. Freaking tank three people, but luckily I have Prey Major on the whole time. So the TP only lasted two minutes. All right, also we tight, no problem. Yay, 50 KC, 50 more to go, but that's all the hard ones done for this stupid boss. So there are some good things that you can do to reduce the chance of getting T-Beat Foley or Ice Barrage Foley while doing Vedion. So if you're using the same method as I am to safe spot them, there's two big things to look out for. You're going to be on the 30 line half the time, you're going to be on the 31 or higher line the other half of the time. When you are on the 30 line, you're most likely killing the Hellhounds and you have to pray melee because they hit really hard. Which means that if somebody TBs you or barrages you, it's a full duration. TB would be full 5 minutes. So if you want to be extremely safe, I recommend wearing full D high, top and bottom. Because they will splash more likely if you have D height on. Now if you are on the 31 or higher line, then I actually recommend praying mage most of the time. But even if they TB you successfully, you're praying mage. So that means the TB is only two and a half minutes, which means you can tank all the way uh, down to the 20 line or whatever, a lot safety and teleport away on time. Five minutes is really hard to survive the full thing, especially against a team. Oh, wow. Okay, what is this drop here? Good sir, 100 ran our weeds. Jesus. Jesus, that is a fatty. Damn, this has to be a one mil trip. Oh, oh, so close. Actually, yes, right there. Boom. One mil trip. Finally. The video test is completed. 100 KC. Really annoying, but we're finally done. I'm just going to finish this trip just because getting here is a pain. Might as well make it count all the way anyways let's talk about safe spawning the venian boss is actually really easy i don't know who the original person that made this method is so shout out to whoever it was but uh, the method is pretty simple here you just want to lure the boss to where you see my character right now which is right by the stump here i wait for it to just about attack me like right now i see attack me so then i go all the way west and then I go to the tile that's marked for this west and I stay there until it gets close enough to attack me again. Okay, I see attack me. So then I go to the square that is east and then I hit the boss immediately. And then I go east again to the next square and I hit the boss twice. And then I go back to the other square, hit it once and then go east again to the other square and hit it twice and repeat that motion over and over again. Ooh, sweet. Duly Kuz Grow. On this last trip, which means I have three master clues prepared. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> On the last kill of the trip, I got a giant pickaxe. Alright, well, it was worth sticking around for a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, I don't need it, but hey, that's cool. I haven't gotten one of these in a long, long, long time. <laughs> Alright, we got the gods for another day. So in the background, you're going to see me do the lore method for this Callisto method here. And it is a really good method because during the whole time I was going for my 100 kills, I did not get hit by a single PK. Yes, this bot is like really chill. I mean, maybe maybe not for a bit after this video, but uh, I think it'll still be pretty chill just because the loot here is pretty bad and whatnot but yeah this lore is super easy to do just 
copy it after a few practice like I did. It went pretty well for the most part. Now, the best part is, once it's Lord, you don't have to move. You just stay where you are. So you can one tick flick if you wish, prayer flick or whatever, or just chill and watch out for if he cares. And for Callisto, I go with the Fogoros Mace again. Initially, I was using Crush, but I was like, wait, there's no way the boss was taking this long to kill. Sometimes it took me like four minutes with the mace, which made no sense. So I looked at the stats, and it turned out that its stab is way weaker. And Fagora's mace does have a stab. So I went on stab, and as soon as that happened, my kill times basically went down by half. So you definitely want to go stab on this boss here. Because, uh, yeah, it was very noticeable. But yeah, this boss, really not much to say. Safe spots, easy to do. And not much PKers. So nothing too much to talk about. But yeah, I did end up getting 100 kills done really quick in basically one session. A good tip for Callisto is that since you are luring with a Magic Longbow, the Magic Longbow does have a spec where it will basically guarantee a hit with the spec, but it won't hit too high. But it's perfect for when the boss has like very low HP. If it seems like it's got like 5-10 HP, using the Magic Longbow spec is super nice. Honestly, use it as much as you can for luring and for the last uh, bit of HP per kill. Helps speed things up. Finally, 100 KC. We are done. Thank God Venom Nass was done years ago, so we don't have to do that. But we still have the easier stuff. The uh, Chaos Elemental and two Scorpio tasks. So, really close. Really, really close, guys. Just the Chaos Ellie. And the Scorpia. All right, we're gonna try to do all of them uh, tomorrow or something, I hope. All right, it's time to finish Chaos Elemental. Boom, 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 all four tasks. The most annoying being kill it 150 times, but shout out Wildy Weapons. And of course, uh, what we got here, Scorpia, finish the two, just two really easy tasks. But yeah, for uh, Chaos LB prep, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a bunch of potatoes. Yeah, I guess that's probably the play just because I am going to fill this up and then empty some when I need more inventory uh, fillers because, you know, Chaos Ellie is annoying with the item manipulation in your inventory and your equipment. So this is an easy way to stop that from happening. Let's go ahead and uh, go ca kill some Chaos Ellie. Thank God I have the Obelisk. That helps a lot, you know, makes doing oh makes doing this a lot easier. Oh, someone's already here. Yes, the potatoes, they're coming in handy. Oh, I complete the task to flincher? <laughs> I didn't even flinch it. I just took no damage that kill. <laughs> Alright, this is the hard version. Done. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, we have to do 100 more kills just to finish the Chaos Ellie. I think there was one random one, too. Let's see. Ah, that's it, actually. Just 100 kills, and I'm completely done with Chaos Ellie. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, honestly. But, yeah, pretty much ready to uh, finish up the Hard Diaries, though. But I would just wait until 100 kills. 150 kills total. Yeah, when I did revs, people would do that. Oh, 100%. Oh, I got a giant pickaxe. Lol. Trolling. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, I guess I'll bank. Man, so far, uh, I've gotten two D-picks going for combat diaries. Lol. Come on! Last kill. Let's get it. Ah, oh, finally. Elite task done. But all that's left is two Scorpio tasks. Please, 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 please. Yes, this is it. I forgot anti poison like a scrub. Oh, this is it. Yay. Our diary's done. Oh my god, finally. These on random skills. There we go. Alright, I don't really need this. I don't need this. But the rewards is super nice. We have mainly this one. Ooh, ecumenical key. Increase in chance, awesome. 
the ability to combine KBD heads with a Dragon Hunter crossbow. And of course, hard clues having a 5% increased chance. Sick. Awesome, awesome. Now we can also do the uh, private instance too uh, for God Wars. Alright, let's do something cool. Might as well show off the new DHCB. Sweet. <laughs> we got the the dark version. Ooh, the red, the red glowy eyes. Very nice. So in the background, you're gonna see the Pakiak task for Hardball Tob, and it's really easy task. Just have to minimize my mage and range switches and bring more brews and a blood fairy and you cannot buy anything from the chest which is why you have to bring so much more supplies but yeah just go for a slower kill and that's pretty much it play it safe easy peasy but let's talk about what's left so i still have theater blood stuff left the hardest ones from there is speed task for sure uh also we have a lot of desire tasks left so like the six jads the uh, inferno fight caves we're gonna work on those soon, probably after the God Wars task. So there's some instance tasks for God Wars left, like huge KC ones, um, taking no damage ones. And there's also the chambers. I think chambers will be done pretty soon because it's my specialty. So we should be able to get that done pretty soon. And that's it. Grandmasters very soon. Can I finish it before Group Iron Man? I hope so.